Please welcome to the Going Rogue Club, Stephen Ogg. Stephen Ogg, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. Thank you for... Uh, I always braving. love to hear the list of what... How am I going to be introduced? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I mean, it's from. a long list. It's a long list. Uh, I don't know, is it? Yeah. I, mean, I guess it's it's built up, but they're all kind of bits and pieces. You know? When 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 did when did it all sort of start for you? What was the sort of what was the catalyst for you to go? This is what I want to do, and oh boy. you know what 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 was that like? The journey. Yeah. We'll talk about a rogue journey. Um, I always, especially when I do these things, my, my mom is usually the one to listen and correct me. So over <laughs> the years, I think I've got the story that's true. Right, 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 right. Because right. I'll often say things and then she'll I'll send it to her or she'll see it or hear it, read it, whatever. She's like, that's not true. That's not like, what oh, happened. <laughs> I'm kind of bad at that. Like I, yeah, I either yeah. have <clears throat> believed it to be true or thought it to be true. So I think my journey. Okay. Up to this point. <laughs> Thanks, Mom, for editing it yeah. to this point. So I did, and I recently just actually, I did a podcast and my mom was visiting in, in California. And as I was on the podcast, they had asked me a question and I was doing the Zoom. So I actually went, she was sitting outside reading. I took the computer down. I was like, Mom, was it, did I? And she's like, no. I was like, oh, <laughs> shit, sorry. Um, so, I mean, it began in it was elementary school, not junior high. Definitely elementary school. What is the elementary school? Because so elementary yeah. school in Canada is what age? Was I there for kindergarten? Kindergarten grade one, two, three, four, five. So five, five years. Five years. Yeah. So right. kindergarten through grade five, because yeah, grade six, seven, eight, nine was junior high. Ten, eleven, twelve is high school. Um, so in elementary school. I was, and this is what I was corrected on recently. I always said, I don't know, because my mom and dad aren't in the arts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything to do with them. So I performed as Betty Boop. Love that. In drag, in elementary school, at school assemblies, which are like assemblies or just, I don't even know what they are. The principal talks and I, I don't even, I couldn't describe what an assembly is. So I thought... And I was, I always said, I don't know why I did this. How, why was I dressing in drag? Just boop, boop, beep, boop, <laughs> like or whatever. It made no sense. So then my mom just recently told me that it was Mrs. Prasso, my kindergarten teacher, that suggested it to me. Mm. I didn't know that. I somehow thought it was my own creative genius, but yeah, apparently yeah, yeah, yeah. to this day I continue to steal from people and say it's my own. Um, so that's, I think, my first performance was Betty Boop and just that love of being on stage and performing. Mm. It wasn't like I was getting love and adoration from the other kindergartners. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. There was obviously something about that. And so then I just did, I mean, I did a National Film Board of Canada f- film when I was, that was a bit later on. My voice was cracking, so whatever age I was then. And I just did local theater in Calgary, my hometown. Right. And I always looked older, aside from now, and I've somehow reversed and looked younger. But back then, I looked older. Yeah. So even when I was 12, I was playing like 14-year-olds. So I got to play right. like a runaway, uh, like plays like, it was workshop theater and storybook theater. So the runaway, Dracula's Treasure, The Long, The Short, and The Tall, where I got to play a, a British soldier and the, the bayonet and all of that. Love that. Loved it. Loved doing theater. And, and that was, and I never studied and I never went to school for it. I never did it in school. Mm. Getting to high school, Peter Spear had a theater company, um, Aurora Theater Company. He became sort of my, um, my not my guide, but he took me to some local theater mm-hmm. things. And uh, he was just an incredible, incredible man. And we were going to audition or we had prepared. So he was the high school drama teacher, but I never did drama in school. But he, uh, we, I think we auditioned for RADA. You uh, say RADA. So RADA the, 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 is the one in... The Cam- Royal in the one in London. Oh, so you auditioned for that? Like 16. Wow. And then, okay. Um, Peter was also like, he was, you know, this is, you should definitely do this. This yeah, would be a great yeah. thing. He subsequently died shortly thereafter. And this oh, is now okay. getting to the end of high school. 
Or maybe it was the first, I don't know. Again, my time frame is all messed up, and uh, so it could have been last week, but I highly <laughs> doubt it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, he, pa- he passed away, which was back in the, so this would have been whatever, the 80s, and of course it was pneumonia, which didn't know what how someone dies of pneumonia, but then, of course, you learn what it really right, was. Right, right, right. Um, and that it sort of, that, that stopped my theatrical and also I had a dance teacher I was taking modern dance which I loved mm. who jumped off the building and killed himself God. so there was all this sort of with the arts there was this tragedy that I then sort of got away from it mm. for a while but that is how I began Phil chapter one I love it and so in terms of like you go into this drama school did you make friends and did you so did you have like, like you know people that you could sort of you know, because in school, if you're if you're the one doing drama and and not everybody else is in those drama classes, did you make friends of, of people who have gone on to do other things as well, or do you, do you stay in touch with people um, from those those times? You know, I mean, I never like in that those those formative years growing up, I never fit in. Right. I was definitely because the doing theater and I did sports, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but the the jocks. Yeah. Thought I was a theater fill in the blank. Yeah. And I also had like long hair and I, I used to wear like shirts with my collar up, like I, you know, and I, and I went through that whole phase. So the athletes and the jocks would think I'm a theater. Mm-hmm. The theater people thought I was a jock because I was into sports. Yeah. So I never had a real group. Mm. Like I used to, and I used to be chased and beaten up. Like I remember in, mm-hmm. Alan, in Eugene College, like, the uh, the school across the street, the older boys would come and chase. Like I spent my recess running, right from people. I was probably a little lippy. <laughs> Might have said a thing <laughs> or two. To I don't. Not sure I believe that. No. Them off. <laughs> but I was yeah, and it was so. All of that. It wasn't until I mean, when I finally landed in New York, mm. many moons later where I was for 20 years. I mean, I, you know, arriving there, I did study. I went to acting classes mm. and I ended up having this acting coach on the Upper East Side, which, uh, I mean, the, the, the people that were in this, this class with, with Alan Savage was like, who I'm still friends with, Garrett Dillahunt, mm-hmm. and his wife, Michelle Hurd, mm-hmm. Norm Lewis, who's a big Broadway, there was... Um, God, he was. He, there was a lot of Broadway people. Mm. Who else? Uh, um, uh, Sex in the City, Kim Cattrall. Wow. She was there. Come and go, because again, it was his apartment was like this big. It was an Upper East Side apartment, right, and right. it was always the weirdest thing. It was at eight thirty in the morning, mm. and I was at that time living in the Village, like on Christopher and the West Side Highway, and I used to for to save a dollar twenty five, I would walk from the lower West Village mm, mm. to the Upper East Side. It took about an hour, 20, hour 30. To what? Jesus. And I'd take my disc man. Yeah. <laughs> this, <laughs> yeah. This dates me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had a disc man. I had a disc man. Disc man, usually Howard Stern. Listen yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah. And I would just walk for an hour and a half because then that dollar twenty five when I got to acting class, I could get a coffee and a bagel and right, look right, right, like right. I fit in. Right, right, right. So that was that was my my thing to do. And that was every day? Was that every day? Or? I think it was once a week. Once a week. And then you could go and study privately. Um, and a Paige Turco was in there. God, all the, yeah, all these people. And Garrett and I have remained friends. We worked on, I mean, we both obviously were part of The Walking Dead. Mm. Um, I did his show, Sprung, which was a mm. lot of fun. Just did an episode with him. Um, but everyone else, you know, peripherally keep in touch. But I've never, um, there's not like a group I keep in touch with. Yeah. You know, because it was once a week. And, you know, I'd say the only people I've kept in touch with over the years are people that I've now worked with, like with mm. The Walking Dead. You know, we've that was a special family. So like Austin, who's was just finished with fear. Mm-hmm. Jeffrey, I mean Jeffrey Dean. Yeah. You know, I mean even Norman. I mean he's filming now in Paris. Cutlets. Cutlets. Who we yeah, both which know. is yeah, yeah, which yeah. is crazy because of course I didn't make that connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I can be quite slow. So 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 when you left Canada, what was that sort of decision? to to sort of 
you know, up sticks and, and move there for, the, for your career, I imagine, is why you moved to New York. Well, that was following when I left at... So at 17, I had... I saw something on, on, on Instagram a while ago where you read... Don't up. believe everything on Instagram, Phil. No, no, this no, no, no. This is a good no. PSA yeah. for the kids at home. Yeah, Where's right, the camera? Right, right. Let's tell them. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not all real. It's not all real. I think this is, though. Okay. A book that you... Were you given a book by your parents or something about... Oh, The Places You'll Go? Yeah. Dr. Seuss? Yeah. It's one of the very few things that I still have yeah. that I carry. And did, and me. so so tell me about that. Did you did, did they give you that book to, so when you were leaving? Or? That was, yeah, I think, Oh, The Places You'll Go is when... So it's 17. So at this point, I had sort of stopped acting, really, because I was now into sports. And I, I used to, right. when I was young, like, Renaissance, man. I want to be good at everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I realized... I'm okay at everything. I want to be great at something. Mm -hmm, so I mm -hmm. sort of focused on sports. Um, and it turns out I wasn't that great at that. <laughs> but um, What was this? What sport? I, it ended up being volleyball. Oh, okay. And I was the runt at 6'3". I was the shortest guy, but I was like 220. Wow. I was just this brick shit house, yeah. angry as fuck. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, yeah. But I was always going to be behind the starter. So this was sort of first year of university in Calgary. But that summer, what happened was they had, they, they, they were looking for the best. Uh, they'd asked a coach that I was playing with, a club volleyball coach who had the best ass on the team. So she said me. So I went and ended up doing, it was for the local paper, a, um, it was called best buns or something like it was a food it was the food section right but the bit was that it was someone's butt with breadsticks sticking out of it wow out of the pocket oh Not okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah so to just get rid of that know, get rid of that now uh <laughs> yeah no, a different different magazine um yeah 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 so it was that and then someone there was like a guy who was there who said oh are you from uh, are you here shooting some fashion thing I said no I'm just here doing this he's like could I take some pictures of you I'm sure so again I was quite st stacked in those days and uh, he took some pictures and he sent them to Toronto and then in Toronto they said could he come here for the summer to do some not I mean I guess it's modeling but mm -hmm. I was really just like torso mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This wasn't, you know, there's the beautiful people, and then there's, I had a great body. I wasn't one right. of the beautiful people. Um, so I'd gone to Toronto for the summer, and, that, and then I stayed. So that book was given to me just when I was going for the summer, hmm. I believe. I'm sure my mom will say, no, that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> um, we should have the mom on Zoom. Yeah, I know, or like the hotline. For, yeah, yeah, Is this yeah. true, <laughs> mom? Um so that was given to me, uh, yeah, I think, or maybe that was just before, because then I went to Italy. So then they, you know, the idea was, I think, maybe runway or something like that. Because, right, again, right, I right. like to be on the stage. Yeah. But then it was Italy, and then I ended up, I, I call these, I think it was five years in Europe, Paris two years, and I was just doing whatever. Like in Paris, mm. I was ended up doing some fitness training for mm. the models. Just whatever. And you I, weren't acting at this stage? No. Right. I was just doing, I, I call them my sort of, my Buster Keaton Dostoevsky travels. Nice. Because I still had that, I loved literature, like I would read a book a week. Um, I applied to Concordia in Montreal, or maybe McGill, and I got accepted and didn't go there. Because mm. I was still sort of, what am I doing? What am I going to do? I know mm. that I love literature and I loved reading, and so I would just read books, like I would go through the Russians and the French and the British reading mm. sort of master, student, tutor in that order. Yeah. Uh, and it was, yeah, it was sort of my, my Buster Keaton Dostoevsky travels because I was in that mindset of this is the art. Ironically enough, I've come back around to that the life is art. And how mm -hmm. you live mm -hmm. your life is, is what makes you an artist. Yeah. And so even back then now I look back and I was like, yeah, I was just sort of creating, uh, developing myself. Yeah, uh, as as a human, and so I I read all this stuff, and then after all those years, after Paris, it became I I need to act again. Like I was just missing it. Yeah, and uh, everyone was like, "Yeah, go." And all these the, the models in Paris were all, of course, like, "You're incredible. You got to go act." And I remember 
uh, you know, being handed Angels in America, um, the play and reading that. And I'm like, yeah, I need to go to New York and be in the theater. Mm. I need to tread the board in New York. Mm. And all these models were like, you're, you're going to do it. And of course, they all became famous within two years. Right. <laughs> they all got movies and TV shows. Yeah. Were they actors as well? No. And oh, okay. I, ironically, of course, a, a few of them, and they're all still working to this day, right. all said, you know, you're the actor. We're not actors. Wow, yeah. And then, of course, they all do. I mean, you, you've done all right. You still I've, are doing all right. I've done, yeah. And I shouldn't, it's funny because recently, like, I always have to tell people, like, I, I'm very grateful for everything I've done. Mm. So I sort of have one arm grateful. Mm, mm. Wherever, where, where is the heart? Uh, yeah, God knows. Somewhere. Yeah. Anyways, wherever the heart is, keep the hand on the heart. Yeah. But I'm still reaching. And yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with that because no. honestly, I don't feel like I've done anything yet. Yeah. And it sounds weird, but compared to like a lot, I, I really haven't. And I was listening to um, Jez Butterworth, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. who, like, if there is one. One day I do, and I still have time because of the age, you know, Johnny Rooster fucking Byron. Mm. I do, I'd love to tangle that yeah, yeah, Jerusalem. Yeah. yeah. And I saw Mark do it in New York, the regional yeah, production, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I saw the recent reboot in London. Yeah, they did it. Oh, to did see you? It. Yeah. Nice. And he's the same fucking, it's like, Yeah, 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 what? yeah, yeah, yeah. How, uh, yeah, yeah. Same, same. How many energy. years between those two then? The original is... Uh, 15 at least wow yeah at least and he hasn't he doesn't look like he's aged at all and he looks he's just exactly still the same yeah, like yeah, yeah, johnny yeah. rooster barn ah, and yeah, yeah, just yeah, fucking yeah. great but um so yeah and it, w it was listening to something with jez butterworth being interviewed where he said he says i still haven't felt like i've done anything and i was like oh good I'm not being yeah, yeah, yeah. pretentious by saying that it's just how one feels i think it's nice though because like <clears throat> It's almost like if you become complacent, then it's like you you feel like you you don't need to reach anymore, and you and you're sort of comfortable. You know, if you're comfortable in your in the field, then you kind of like I think it's boring. You know what I mean? Well, so it's kind of a flat line. That that's that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah I mean, because it's you know, the, people honestly have this view of me is that I work all the time, mm. or like I'm picking and choosing. That's not true. Mm. Like I'm, I'm not sitting at my desk with like, I think I'll do a comedy. Right, right, right. I think you know what? I want to play a chef. I need to do. I need to do a chef show. Yeah. I, I'm not. Like people think that I am, and it's, it's good and bad. Because it's like no, I'm. I, I still honestly grinding away, which is our story. Right, 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 right. Just reaching, trying. I mean. And so I'm not complacent because I feel like I'm still the same 17-year-old. In a sense, New York didn't have working papers. Mm. Luckily, there was fax machines, so you could fudge the right. the card, you know, say work with INS authorization only. Wow. Never came through for some reason on the fax, so you got work. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all of that. But I, it's weird. I still feel that same struggle. I still feel that, you know, like with Boiling Point, mm. you know, I'm, s I'm still nervous as fuck, and I'm still like, oh. And I was like, well, oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> which, which, which is, it, it's, <laughs> it's nice. It's nice, though. It's nice to, to know that because, <clears throat> you know, someone of of your stature who's, who's, who's worked a lot, even though you feel like you haven't, you have, and you've done some incredible stuff, and you're amazing what you do. So, you know, for when you, when you reached out to me on Instagram and it was like, you know, love the film and blah blah blah, and then we and then we announced the TV series, and then you reached out again, and we <clears throat> we connected at that point, and it was like, mm -hmm. you just I think you said something like, you know, I'd love to be a part of the TV series. I I I'll wash the dishes or whatever, wash the I'll pots. I'll be the guy who gets uh, stuck in the meat freezer. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I just sort of thought about it. I was like, maybe maybe he's you know being serious. So I sort of reached out to you then and was like. There is this part in the show. Would you be up for having a look? And here we are. Yeah, I you mean, know. it's it's really it's a, it's, a, it's amazing. It's a truly, <clears throat> I think, beautiful, great story, and yeah. it, like that's this means so much to me, almost more than 
anything because I tend to, I think when I audition for things, I don't book them, which <laughs> makes me nervous. I'm like, man, maybe I am shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> but <clears throat> yeah, I think it's just, this means so much to me because of the way it happened. Mm. And it also, there's a lot of, uh, you know, sidearms with this too. The fact of like the Instagram, the social media mm. can be a place for good. And, yeah. and that's, I think, a wonderful thing when used uh, appropriately. You know, everyone can use it however they want. Yeah. To each his own. Mm -hmm. But I've always thought it's, it can be a wonderful place for uh, inspiring people. Yeah. And, and, and this is how that all came about. So that's also nice, too, the know, to mm -hmm. know that, yeah, things can be used for good. Yeah. Things can actually fucking happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I've been like, whenever I'm inspired... So like the film Boiling Point, when I saw that, and I was just like, oh, fuck. And you just get that feeling of like, yes, I'm going to be a better actor. <laughs> because of yeah. the bar set by all of the performances, by the film, everything elevates you. So you're now mm. invigorated by it, right? To yeah. make yourself better. Be it film, music does it a lot for me, books. Mm. Uh, painters, whatever it is that inspires me, I now like to, if nothing else, put out that energy of thank you. Yeah. To say thanks. Yeah. Which is what I did with you. Um, I've done that now with like a couple film, like the, um, I'm going to blank on names, Who I Killed My Father, French writer, and he did the one-man show, and then they also did another version of the one-man show in the Young Vic Theatre here in London. But anyways, I had something like that, and then we started messaging. Mm. Um, Warren Ellis, who I've always been such a huge fan of. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Nick Cave, yeah. obviously. Mm. Um, with When he did Nina Simone's Chewing Gum, the book. Right. Such a wonderful book. Mm. So beautiful and so inspiring. Mm. Music, everything aside, just that book. Right. Oh, talk about like you know, objects and what they mean and the, the mm. process and, and art, artistry, inspiration. Message him and then message me back. And I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> like those things make me fangirl more than anything. Mm. Anthony and the Johnsons, well, now Anoni. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huge fan. Yeah. One of the best productions to this day I've seen. Mm. Park Armory in New York, which is, again, something I'm, this is why I say I'm still reaching because these are the projects that honestly excite me and resonate with me because it's been in me for 15 years mm. this production of the life and death of marina abramovich yeah yeah she yeah, staged yeah. her own funeral with her mm, as mm, part of it mm. doing all of her bits mm. i hate to minimize them by calling them yeah, bits, yeah, performance yeah, yeah. yeah art yeah pieces <laughs> um but and willem dafoe yeah was the narrator wearing his like wore like a, you know, like almost like this white big diaper, mm -hmm. had his hair red up and all, he, you know, almost looked like the Joker. Mm. And he's just doing his thing and running around the stage, very Wooster group, which I remember seeing like when he did Harry Ape, he has this big mic. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then at the time, Anoni was Anthony, Anthony and Johnson's, on the corner of the stage, gorgeous black gown, mm. singing Cut the World. Yeah. It still gives me... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then when Anoni responded to something and the tags, uh, you know, I'm like, I was yeah. like, Sarah, <laughs> <laughs> look! Because <laughs> that excites me so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't know. It, it makes me so giddy. Yeah. Those things. What's, what's been one of your, your highlights? And then so for, of course, this then would yeah, be yeah. under that. And then to take it to this stage is like heavenly and i think my nerves also then come from like oh my god i gotta be really good but you are I, good. i can't fuck this up <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh um honestly it's it's such a like when when you know when we when i asked you would you be up for doing it and we read the script and then it was like we were back and forth and it was you know yeah no brain i, I got very excited and so did the whole team you know it was like it, you're just the perfect the perfect casting for that that character and there was nobody else really that we wanted yeah so amazing I'm and we were all sort of like you know because it's 
you know, you got to, you, you say yes, but then you got to go through the agents and all that kind of stuff. And it was like, you know, you're over in, in, in LA and it's, you know, this and that. So there was times when I was like, oh, this is this going to work? Is this not going to work? And it was just, it was. Yeah, because you never know who you might never know. fuck things up. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Say no more. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it it all did work out. And it's, yeah, I mean, because yeah. also like Stephen Graham, which hopefully finally be meeting this evening. Yes. You know, like, yeah. like, you know, Hannah is so wonderful. Yeah. I was like, really? I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> really? Be oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, Stephen's work has been an inspiration to me, you know? Yeah. Seeing, seeing him in so much. Like, there's credits. Like, there's yeah, yeah, a yeah. man you can say you've got a long list of, Yeah. you know, um, forget what the show was they should have like a the team should be like yeah and yeah, yeah. hold up a sign so that <laughs> i don't look so stupid but don't worry about it you guys <laughs> you guys are doing great just relax i think they're asleep in there um, no. <laughs> but again like that's one of the many things we're watching yeah i was like and it was actually during we were filming snowpiercer mm. and we had to because it used to be much easier even with the eye player I used to listen to every morning BBC Six, like Lauren Laverne. When yeah. I, I did the Lauren Laverne show. See, when that's I was doing like, to me, that's like, you know, we've got our things over here, our TV shows. But then when you say, like, I, there's a couple of people that I've spoken to have said that they've watched the most random British shows. And I'm like, okay, you know, it's, it's, it, it, because it's, it's kind of like British humor, a lot of the stuff. You know what I mean? But, but I think the quality, it's, it's just a different, and yeah, because I, I can't, I don't poo see that. See. The other, the other stuff. No, 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 no. It's different. The sensibility and also being, you know, my mom's British and yeah, yeah. Commonwealth. Maybe it is sensibility. I don't know, but it's not like, you know, it's not like I'm watching Faulty Towers on repeat or anything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah, generally, yeah. like Line of Duty. The Virtues. The virtues. Thank you. What did I say? The vengeance. The vengeance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a great movie, yeah, Vengeance. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> but the virtues, like, yeah. Man, that, you know, watching Steven do that, and I was like, okay. Yeah. I'm going to go to set today, and I'm going to try to act better as Pike. Yeah. That didn't work, but again, it felt good. <laughs> yeah. So that's where, like, yeah, I'm, you know, he's, he's, he's incredible. So, yeah, I definitely look forward to meeting him. And it is sort of like, there's the, the athletic side of it, mm. where for me, and it actually, you know, talking about Dostoevsky and literature, and then I'm going to give you a quote from Guns N' Roses. Who I love. So there you go. There's everything about me. It takes this, takes this, takes this. Yeah. But the line, uh, I forget what song it is, but get in the ring, motherfucker. I'll kick your sorry little ass. Mm. That song where he's talking about the Rolling Stone. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it is called Get in the Ring. Get in the Ring? I don't know. But, yeah, I don't, uh, know. don't know that one. That's how I sort of see it. Uh, it's not a competition, but when you're stepping onto a set or a stage, which I haven't done in so long and would love to, it scares the shit out of me, but um, stepping into the ring. Yeah. And so, like, there is that part of me too with, like, Steven. <clears throat> After I fangirl and like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you'll see how sad it is tonight. You'll be like, oh, I thought you were so cool, Stephen. And, <laughs> and you act like a child. He brings his pad out and his pen. Can yeah. you just sign that for him? He brings a picture of Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's, uh, there's that other part where like I, and this is again the reason, like I want to play with, and best is, so subjective, right? Because it's yeah. like these awards. It's so ridiculous. Right, like right, what right, makes right. a fucking... Oh, yeah, you're a better actor than you are. Right. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. yeah. But that being said, there are those that are in the position mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at the table, I call it, which people often think I'm at that table, but I'm not. Uh, I keep trying to mm -hmm. inch my way up to it. Just in that you provided more opportunities, provided, uh, you know, to be a bit more like, yeah, let me, uh, can we work? Can we do? Can we? Yeah. That's what I keep grinding for. But like getting in the ring with Stephen Graham, once the nerves go away, mm. step in the ring, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick yeah, your yeah. sorry little ass because you're playing with. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just different. Yeah. It just it, it, it doesn't diminish other actors or anything, but there is that thing of, as an athlete, you want to play with the best because yeah. it challenges your own game. Yeah. So you want to play with it. Or you can work with someone and be like, which has happened. Yeah. You're yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. how the fuck did you work so much? There's that surprise. Mm -hmm. So maybe Steven is terrible. <laughs> I mean, I'm, uh, but I doubt it. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like it is yeah, that thing yeah, of yeah. like the the competition of yeah, I can't wait to to play. Yeah, with that. Yeah, you've got to sort of step up to that level, haven't you? That's what you. you know, I know what you mean. It's uh, and it's fun, and it's yeah. you know. But you also realize a lot of times, like you know, like with, with emancipation with mm. with Will Smith. Like okay, there's someone well, you know of Will Smith, and yeah, you know, always hear great things before I was working with him, and and it's interesting, right? Because as soon as you, was the one thing, because you can tell when someone's engaged. Yes, absolutely. And so it's that first meeting, the first time you step in the ring. Yeah. And in this case, we we're, you know, honest, literally this camp was in un unbelievable. Because mm -hmm. you're literally at that camp. Yeah. So it's, there's a lot going on where it obviously infuses the acting because you're, in this and the smoke and the, You're in the moment, smells yeah. and yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah. yeah. But that first time with the actor when you like, cause it's, it should, there is something simple and stupid about listening yeah. and asking the question. And if you can sometimes strip it down, like in trying to get a response. Yeah. Right. So really listening. That's why yeah, I like doing yeah, yeah. stuff a hundred times, <clears throat> like actors who like don't want to work on the lines or anything because I want it to be fresh. Yeah. I just don't understand that. Mm-hmm. 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 Because I'd love to do it a hundred times and every time should be a little different. Yeah. Or sometimes a hundred times later, you're like, oh, that's what it means? You're my father? Right, I, right. Didn't, I didn't get that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. you can read it and work on it. <clears throat> and I like, the, I'm a repetition. I just, because then yeah, things yeah, yeah. come to me and I go over and over and over and over and over and over. And then you get in the ring and it changes. Yeah. And then you talk and then you say it again and again. And each time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can get in differently or listen yeah, yeah, and yeah, so yeah, again yeah. that it seems not always you know ideal people that are at the, the top of the game can can engage mm. not all the time no, 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 so no there's no. times where you're like hello yeah wow <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, yeah. And yeah. even hearing mm. like recently friend on a big production mm. just like i couldn't fucking believe it yeah. i had to literally tell this person who was is you know, a big star right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Had the, like, the, they didn't know their lines. It was fucking like, what? How is yeah. this person in this position? Yeah. It's incredible. Have you ever had a, 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 a co-star or... I'm going to name names here. So okay, yeah, good, good. Get good, ready. Good, good. No, I mean, like, I, I, I've, I, you know, I've experienced this myself when I was an actor, but, but I've also heard stories of, like, you know, you do the scene, it's one-on-one, -on -one, the camera's on you, Cameras on them, they do the thing, cameras on you, and they just fuck off and get someone else to read the lines. Have you had that? I've, yeah, I've, I've not had it personally, but I've, oh. I've, I've heard that that's happened. But I've also, I've definitely had when actors are just, they just, they don't even look at you or they just, they're just, they're not engaged. <sighs> it's only when it's, when the camera's on them. I would have a tough time dealing with that. Yeah. Because I'm not. It's weird. I'm, I'm very emotionally uh, raw and available. Yeah. <clears throat> but I'm a shitty communicator. Right. Like, there are people that can be like, excuse me, that's very rude. Or this makes me uncomfortable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just be like, <sighs> and, and like, I'll hold it in, and then I'll get home and throw a chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or be yeah, an yeah. asshole to someone that I shouldn't be. Yeah. I, I, I wish... Uh, I mean, still, I need to work on those those skills. Tell me what what's one of your your major highlights to date? You know, since you've been doing all this, what is one of the one of the one of the biggest? Oh gosh! I mean, highlights? honestly, or, right or now, few, yeah. it is this. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. I mean, I haven't even done anything. So yeah. again, I'm not. You were shooting, basically a, an, an essay, an extra last week, this week. Which was again talk. About we need to talk about that, by the way, because. Um, we're reshooting. We, we may have to reshoot you in the background. Because <laughs> you just saw this blonde head. 
you were just, you know, yeah, I, I just, yeah. The Neo was so sweet because at one point when we were both doing, like when we were down low doing our, yeah, I call it nicking. I'm going to make nicking. nick a verb. Yeah, I love that. We were doing nicking. Yeah. And, um, and bless her, she goes, oh, let me come back a bit so you can be seen. Oh. And I was just like, oh, so sweet. Because I, like, I don't need that. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. with this blonde hair. And I'm also much taller than everyone. Right, I think right. I can probably be seen. Yeah. <laughs> but even with that, it was so sweet. Everyone, like, calling or messaging, saying, yeah. we apologize for your first week. I was like, why? This is all yeah. part of it. And that's good because you get to meet everyone and yeah. kind of get used to the the kitchen a bit and, and you yeah. know, fig, figure out. Ease things. you in gently. Yeah, which is good because... I don't know, you know, it is what it is, whatever, if it's the, mm. you hit the ground running or not. I mean, everything has been, I've sort of been talking about this forced Buddhism that I I'm, I now find myself in in life. Mm -hmm. And it's, I call it forced simply because, and it's not always, I don't always practice it, but forced being that, you, you know, you're, the ideals and, and the principles, if you will, Buddhism is, is being in the moment. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forced is because you don't always want to be. I call it forced Buddhism right. because I don't always want to be in the moment, but also it helps, like I was saying earlier, like I forget everything. Mm. So that's a bit of forced Buddhism yeah, just yeah, because yeah. I forget the past, uh, like to a really weird place of like, are you okay, Stephen? Do you have any memory? <laughs> um, I do, but it's forced Buddhism. Mm -hmm. uh, I tend to, to be in the moment, and it's like acting, really. Yeah. Uh, I call it forced Buddhism, especially film and TV, because mm -hmm. you have no control over the outcome. Yeah, You that's can't. True. So just, you know, I've done some really, really good work that I didn't see, that I was so excited to see, that mm. just didn't show up. And it's become kind of a joke, but not a funny one to me. Right. It's like, hmm, how are they going to... Cut me, Cut out, me of out of this one. Oh, God. Because even Emancipation, I was like, <clears throat> why were they, why did they put the camera on him? Yeah. I had this great bit. Mm. Uh, but it is what it is. So, what do you have? Force Buddhism. You enjoy the moment of doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're with the scene, you mm. do it. Yeah. And enjoy it. Mm. Because guess what? That's it. It's gone. Yeah. It's gone. Be in the moment. Like, it might get edited, might get cut, might get yeah. thrown out. So, enjoy this. Enjoy that moment. I don't always, of course, practice it, but that's yeah. that's what it ends up becoming. So it's sort of like, yeah, what's my favorite thing here now? And that's partially because mm -hmm. I forget, but it's also because this is what I have. Yeah, yeah. This is all I have right now, and there might not be anything up here. Mm. So mm. I'm just now, I mean, there's obviously been... You know, there's been, there's always, it, and it's funny because it, it's like when they, you know, when you do press or anything and people ask you favorite scenes. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't. I can tell you about that wonderful dinner we had. Mm -hmm. I can tell you about, like I always talk, like with Walking Dead when you, you know, we used to do these cons for the Walking Dead and all that. You know, I can remember Austin and I, that night of bad gas and the sound people literally we we're in the back of the house and then coming to us saying, can you guys shut up we can hear you <laughs> you can hear us because we're also giggling right but right, like right, i remember right. that yeah, i remember yeah, yeah, yeah. those things um and that's kind of part of the force buddhism too mm -hmm, mm -hmm. say like everyone has their own process of, of the way they work in for me as a director i have to tune into those each individual actor's way of working you know and i have my way of you know i, I trained um for a couple of years I did I studied Meisner for a couple of years which is exactly about you know putting your attention on the other person listening ultimately and being in the moment and you know it's uh, I tried to bring that in as, as a director into my the way that I the way that I direct you know just give the, the actors the opportunity to to play um, but but not everyone can do that and everyone like I say has the process but bullying is not accepted I don't think it's not it's not cool yeah, well, I mean, you know what I mean, manipulation, right? That is yeah, bullying. yeah, it's yeah, the yeah, same yeah thing. exactly, yeah, yeah. When you see that yeah. gaslighting, yeah, yeah, that's another one too. It's yeah. the, the whole power play thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, it's so much, so much more fun when everyone's cool. Yeah, 
I, I agree. I mean, you know, it's not, I don't think there's any room for, for, for assholes. There Which is surprising be. that there are still out there, mm. especially the ones working. Yeah. It really pisses me off. Yeah. I hear of like... Certain actors that are still out there yeah. that keep fucking up yeah. and even big studios continue to give them opportunities. And it's like, hey, how about some of us over right. here that are, people. would love those opportunities and hardworking... Yeah. Try to remember my lines. Yeah. But, you know, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to be an asshole and yeah. I'm not going to be some crazy, unhinged. You don't need that. It's so masturbatory to yeah. be that. I mean, I was that way, you know, younger, mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. the Dostoevsky uh, Buster Keaton days, you yeah, know, yeah, sleeping yeah, yeah. outside on the streets in Paris. I lived in Henry Miller's old apartment just because wow. it's going to, you know, yeah. it's going to help my writing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find, you know, just. And that's a very sort of Purell mindset that we go through as yeah. artists, which I think is fine. But I don't think you have to be like people with me. Like, I love to play unhinged. Yeah. I love to play that kind of character. It's fucking fun. Yeah, 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 of course. But yeah. then people are always like, but you're so like funny and calm. I'm like, because mm. it's acting. Yeah. It's acting, you know? Yeah. Like that's why like with Stephen, right, Graham, you hear how lovely he is. But mm. you watch some of his work, you're like, that's not someone I want to yeah, yeah, necessarily yeah. hang out with. Yeah. Because he's got that, you know, he's yeah. fucking intense. Yeah. Love it. You know, it's, uh, yeah. And I'm sure he's had those, though, he's been through that journey. I know he has, you know, of being that same as you, that going through the process. You find who you are as a person, I think, as you get older. And, you know, you've got to go on that journey to be, to be able to get to where you are I, I certainly have you yeah. know so and the more well, open yeah. too like I always say it's funny because you know the more the more open you can be and the more vulnerable the yeah, more places yeah, yeah. you can go yeah, um, yeah that does come I think with age too uh, yeah the you know like I know for, for myself especially if I'm need to sort of work myself up into a place I usually like to start from a place of almost tears or listening to mm-hmm. sad music that makes me sad because mm. then if I have no epidermis if I've peeled my skin off yeah I can kind of do anything and I can feel anything mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know you can yeah. go from rage to to tears or whatever mm. if you're if you're open and it's tough yeah because to keep open on a set with waiting for hours yeah or yeah yeah whatever it is you know someone manipulating the scene or someone being a bully whatever it is there's so many factors that go into it so to remain open Mm -hmm. so tough would you just to wrap it up what sort of advice would you give to any actors out there aspiring actors you know about this industry or you know yeah just anything really i mean i think again that it's funny because when I've been asked these things before, the advice I give is something I don't practice. Mm-hmm. Like I would be, you got to get involved. Yeah, you got to get out there. Yeah, you got to do stuff. Mm-hmm. Do it yourself. Mm-hmm. I never have. I never wrote a script. Right. I probably should have thirty years ago. Mm-hmm. Just didn't interest me. Yeah. I love writing. I like doing poetry, and I like not a script. So it's weird because I understand the need to get involved, but it is also case in point right here is is never stop reaching never mm. stop grinding yeah that's how we came to be reaching out to you mm-hmm, mm-hmm. absolutely um, so it's like i think that's the biggest thing um again i certainly want to be in more places doing more and get more that i want um but you have to keep doing it for also the right reasons i love to do what i do yeah and, and again, to each his own. But I think if you're going for, you know, any sort of monetary thing or, or f- to be famous. Yeah. Um, I don't know. If that's your thing, cool. I think it's pretty shitty. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Do it for the right reasons. Because yeah. if you love it, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. That being said, then, okay, why don't I just move to some small town and do a little theater company? Mm-hmm. 
so I'm not practicing what I preach because mm -hmm. I don't want to just do that. Yeah, I yeah, want to yeah, do yeah. a big theater production. And yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I want to, you know, do it around the world, and I yeah. want to work with these people. So I, r be true to yourself, too. I mean, all yeah. of these cheesy, be it colloquialisms or expressions. They're true. They're true. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. So, you know, it is remaining true to yourself and... Mm. Uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes it doesn't always work, but who cares? You keep grinding away. Yeah. So that's that's the thing, right? Just keep, mm. just keep grinding, and it's also it's such it's, it's. Well, I mean, in Europe, it's different. It's such a more of a noble profession to be an actor mm. or an artist. Whereas still, there's a, not shame around it, but like, oh, I'm an actor. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you talking about, and especially now, like people, you know, if people are discouraging you, fuck them. Yeah. Because what job is, is safe these days? Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, can go yeah. to school, get six degrees, and be in a great job and then lose it or after a year mm. burn out. Mm, mm. So I think that's important is do what you love, and if you don't love it, then switch it up. Yeah. And that's not coming from a place on the hilltop, mm. me looking down, because mm, mm, I am mm. still grinding away. Yeah. It's not, you know, and some people say that, you know, eh, like David Mamet's book, oh, shut up. Like, you're, <laughs> you're up here in your fucking house talking about it. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're not yeah, down yeah. here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but, yeah, like, that's, I think that's it. Keep grinding. Yeah. And, and find ways to, to also satisfy it. Mm. Right? I don't work a lot as much as, you know. Well, I say I'm like, a, as you'll probably, you know, as you know, I'm, I'm good in small bits. I'm not always... <laughs> You know, you don't want to be with me every day, <laughs> but you want to have me around for the week. Of course. Um, find outlets, too. Like, that's why I love mm. you know, my Instagram is my little art installation. Yeah, right? yeah, I, yeah. It allows me to... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sort of take this strip off my arm or heart and throw it down. Yeah. <sighs> it's gone. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Find those things. Yeah. That's an important thing. Yeah. Because that, I think, keeps you going. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, a beautiful finally what are you working on next I mean I obviously know what you're working on next and what have you got coming up love to know that <laughs> I mean this this is this is this is it for now yeah like again forced Buddhism yeah 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 it you said keeps, you worked on it a keeps film. coming back to that oh I did I mean last year yeah see this is me sounding probably yeah last year I did I think it was about six indie films wow so but will they come out you don't know. Right, 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 right. But that was fun because I played, a, a, you know, like six really different characters mm -hmm. from uh, the beginning of the year being this mercenary called like this monk uh, that didn't, he used shock guns instead of real bullets because he was not, he no longer would kill anyone. Shaped right. It. So there's, from that to like a sheriff in small town that, you know, helping this blind girl. Uh, with Annalise uh, Basso, uh, mm. to what else? Uh, this this broken down. It was part of the um, opioid epidemic mm -hmm, in small mm -hmm. towns. Devastating story. Uh, mm. Played this man who is dying mm -hmm. and addicted, and that was a great experience too. Because at first they were like they weren't sure how like because I'm big and healthy looking. Mm -hmm. and especially at that time it was the summer so I'm like by my pool reading I'm like bronze yeah 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 and it was actually Sosie Bacon bless her who she had a part in the film too did say to the director uh, we two ships passing but she 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 saw some dailies and she was like wow mm. he he can act because people thought how is he going to play this like literally broken right guy who who offs himself he's he's done mm -hmm. living man mm -hmm. and it's just it's a small part all of these were like little tiny small parts mm -hmm. um so i'm still waiting for the big part again reaching reaching yeah yeah, yeah. um but uh yeah bro like just broke like broken back because he had a coal he was a coal miner mm -hmm. so it's mm -hmm. these coal mining towns these people right like, these fucking pharmaceutical companies come in and start giving them these painkillers mm. that are addictive and they're all fucked yeah they yeah, all, yeah they yeah, all lose yeah. their money their homes their livelihood mm -hmm, their mm -hmm. health so yeah this guy was this crooked like you know and i just this broken backed guy yeah and i was like fuck yeah pulled that off so that was like fun and so then there were and there was a wrestling thing we did in december right after i pinched a nerve so that was really fun i was like oh god 
Did you play a wrestler? Yeah. But luckily, nice. he's like small town wrestler, uh -huh. so except literally like my left side is different than my right side now because I pinched a nerve in oh, October okay. and never looked after it, so I my muscles apathied on my left oh. side. So it's really nice when we do the shirtless scene in yeah, the yeah, kitchen. Yeah. You'll see it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when Nick shows up in his chaps. Yeah, yeah. No shirt. <laughs> Cowboy hat. Hey, <laughs> I'm your new sous chef. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly how we wrote him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, steak tonight. <laughs> so I thought we'd have four cuts of steak. <laughs> Carly, hey, Bolton. Yeah. I'm like, guys, um, I think we have a, need to have a chat about steak. Well, I've been hearing that, you know, every day that everyone's going off script. Mm. So maybe uh, maybe Monday. Coming I'll come with your own with backstory. Own yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, steaks up, table 21. Ping! Pew. <laughs> 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 Love it. He's not wearing pants. <laughs> yeah. It's my choice. Can anyone tell him or no? No, I don't think we should. Yeah. Don't come near me. <laughs> He's number 32 on the call yeah. sheet. <laughs> Isn't his dressing room the bathroom? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's in Stephen Graham's trailer again. Yeah. <laughs> He locked the door. <laughs> it's my fucking trailer. Yeah. It's got my name, Stephen, on it. Another Stephen. Spelled differently, though. So many Stevens on this. There's side. a lot of Stevens on Boiling Point. Yeah. Well, Sean has decided to call me Og. Love that. Because then, so. Yeah. I was like, I'm fine with, I'm fine with Og or OGG, just not Stevie. Yeah. There's a Stevie. There's already a Stevie. But, like, Stephen's my name, and when yeah, Stevie, yeah, yeah. like, oh. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. When I when I do an email and I say Stephen and then someone responds with Steve. Steve, yeah. Oh. Noted. Do yeah. not call him Steve. Oh. Yeah. But again, I don't communicate it. I just let it simmer. In oh, my, yeah, And then yeah, I take yeah. it home and I'm an asshole at home. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You call me fucking Steve. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, it's been an absolute honor to have you on and, you know, been amazing to chat to you. Yeah. So thank it's, you so it's much. Been man. Wonderful. Thank you. I mean, again, it's it's I'm here honestly because of you. So Don't. there's there's the I'm I'm very very grateful and I thank you very much because it's like I said this is this is a huge huge thing for me for a lot of reasons. So should we kiss now? Thank you. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> then amazing. But thank you. Thank Appreciate you, man. It. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.